Knox3 allows you to add environment variables to your application and be able to read from them. For example, I have my all you need to do is add a dot env file to the root folder of your next application and so i have a dot env dot example here because i have like real um variables here which i can share publicly but here this looks exactly like this so the way this looks like this is a database url we're using prisma and this is how it works but let's say we have this right we have this access token secret examples because we're using uh jwt uh json web token and so we have all these and the way that you can read from the environment variables into your next application is you go to your nox.config and it looks like this right you have your runtime config so you have this defined nox config here then you have this runtime config which is an object and here is where you see if you have I am access token secret here. Then you say process.env I am access token secret. So this here is related to in your env example, in your dot env, right? It's gonna be related to this right here. And the refresh token secret, reset token secret, the same thing. We go to our next config and it's the same thing. You see right, right there. So this variable is what I'm going to use to access in my next three application. And it's the same thing here. And that's how you do it. So how do you, oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, these here are private by nature, meaning they won't be exposed to uh, the client side. But this here, these are public and they're gonna be exposed to the client side. So you'd never wanna put a secret information here and that's why our secrets are are here and and not here so then how do you read this into your next application and i'm going to show you that so for example this i am allow google auth in this application it says if we should allow google authentication in the application and so to read this all you need to do is you see here it says use runtime config. So this tells Noxt to go here and read these variables that are right here in the runtime config. And then it says public. We want to read the public variables. And that's the public variable here. And then this I am allow Google auth, which is saying, hey, should we allow Google authentication here? Like what is the environment variable saying there? And it is this one, I am allow Google Auth, which is gonna be connected to I am allow Google Auth in your ENV. Uh, and then uh, let me get rid of this. In your ENV, I can I go back? Which will be right there. I am allow Google Auth, so it's false by nature. But once you change this to true, that's what we read up here. And so that's how um, environment variables work in Nox3. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you're seeing this and saying, man, this is all this authentication stuff, I do have a tutorial where I'm gonna teach you how to create, how to do authentication in Nox3. This is a tutorial here. But what you're seeing in this video, this is a completely free application, which I, I have, it's called, um, if you just go to Nuxt, I if you, if you go to Google, if you Google like um, Jeremy Coder, that's me. Uh, Nuxt, I am um, GitHub. If you go there, you're gonna come to here, Jeremy Coder Nuxt, and this is absolutely free. You can download it. So this is an Nuxt application that is completely free for you to download and work through, but. I don't really teach authentication here. However, if you want to learn authentication, I have a separate tutorial where I'm gonna show you how I built this. We're gonna start from scratch and built it from step by step. And I'm gonna show you how authentication works in Nox3. So you create a very nice application that looks like this. It's really uh, simple, straightforward, but it's powerful. Like you be able to register a user, be able to log in, you know, say if I want to log in, Jeremy, an example, if I log in, uh, here's welcome Jeremy, 
uh, settings and be able to log out to go back and this like this all this like uh, this one is kind of complex but it's all based on the same thing a bit protected page and yep so if you want to learn authentication click the link below otherwise hey have a nice day and I hope you like this video I will talk to you soon